Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is White Should White Gaming TV and it's me, Pavel from Belarus and today we start, I would say, gameplay, we start uh, completion, we start our adventure in uh, one of the best games uh, in previous decade, I believe one of the best game for the last 25 years, for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, Red Dead Redemption 2. We have some quotes here that describe uh, us um, the situation on the Wild West, so everything become tough for outlaws and uh, gangs, so we are on the each on, at the break point of the centuries and time when all the gangs uh, start to disappear okay ladies and gentlemen red dead redemption 2 white should white gaming tv so let's begin let's begin Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Oh. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know. Okay, no also man. as usual, found some good place no. for the gang. Come on! Yeah! It's very cool. I would say one of the best uh, intros in the games I ever seen. So I would say it is magnificent. Okay, chapter two, Coulter. No, chapter one, Coulter. Okay. Bring him in here. Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. Okay. Nothing more. Davy didn't done. make it. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this, just for a short bit, and I don't see what other choice we have. Listen, listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now we've had well, a bad couple of days. <laughs> I would say a bad uh, week. <laughs> I loved Davy. But anyway, Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it. Gladly. But we are gonna ride out and we are gonna find some food. Everybody? We're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, 
I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. Dutch right. as usual. He always uh, do there. some speeches so and um, try to motivate folk. Sure. Hey. But anyway. I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We miss you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey. You need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Okay. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I. We need you strong. Okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to start our adventure for sure. And what I want to tell you is that uh, I very, I have very little time to do like full-scale commentary videos, even for this magnificent game. So I will add some comments in the very beginning, maybe some in the very end, some in the very middle, but not all the video will be commented. So. Sometimes you're gonna see just a non-commentary gameplay video and so on and so forth. But don't worry, I'm gonna release some reviews, updates, tips and tricks, so... You're gonna see a lot. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's continue our adventure. I hope it's gonna be interesting. I'm pretty sure that for you it would be much more interesting to hear what uh, characters say in such videos rather than my comments. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Can't let's continue. We lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. So, do you think it was a trap in Blackwater? That many men? Oh, they knew we were coming. But there was money on that boat, all right. Lots of it. I stashed what we took with all our money in town right before we fled. Hey, I think I see something up the path. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean. We don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope. Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Whoa. You run into anybody else? I, I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well, don't talk to me about crazy. 
So no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, it's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. There ain't much, but shelter. So, this house, you speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders, you know me. Right. How much further? Not far. What does that mean? Not far. Uh, thanks. Goddamn, this snow gets right to the bone. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay, let's head down there. Let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. Okay. Arthur, Arthur, we got a problem. Yeah, we got a problem, Micah. We definitely have. Okay, time to shoot. Keep your eyes on Dutch. I think you should go now, buddy. One, two, three, fire, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we already made, already did two headshots. Third one. I see on the one on the top, but I don't see the shooter itself, only can. Okay. Let's target people we can target. Oh, wow. Oh, come on, we need to catch these guys. Done. It was pretty easy. Okay, let's continue. Essentials, food, medicine, 
Whiskey. Oh, starving. You should eat something now. Get your strengths up for the ride back. O'Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Micah found a dead body in the wagon outside. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. The place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Grab anything you think we can use and meet me out here. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs>
that bastard still in there? He's dealt with. Good. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Get that horse hitch. Don't want him bolting. Micah, you... You are stupid as usual. <laughs> or maybe Max. Anyway. This Adler. So... It's gonna be a huge change in your life. Okay. Let's get out of there. You okay, Miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. He weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <gasps> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's 
For all, they yeah, were pretty worried about him. I know. If the situation were reversed, and he'd look for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, it seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. A few hours ago, most. Cross. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. And suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkerton. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. <laughs> Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Tracks go left, down here. Davey got shot, Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. It's getting narrow here. Come on, boy. Horses are getting tired. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Let's see if he can hear us. Come on, up there. Walk from here. 
I grabbed that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Sure about this? Over here! It's coming from this way. Okay. Watch out here. Mierda, that we're high up here. You're telling me. to the wall. Up this way. Come on. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John! scratch you got there never thought I'd say this but good to see you Arthur Morgan you don't look so good I don't feel too good neither okay <coughs> let's save John <sighs> Freezing. but uh, it seems like uh, cougar or something like this attack John but I hope this animal not gonna appear here. I'm pretty sure that cougar will not. Okay. Okay, now we need to return back to the camp and I believe everything's gonna be safe here. Or maybe not, we will see. You see that on the ridge? Okay. We have first challenge. Well, we need to somehow deal with that wolves. I'll keep John's friends off until you clear. Okay, 
Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. Stay away, stay away. Minus one, there's still two. Uh, not easy. Okay, done. Can we skin? No. Okay. Not my horse. Oh, let's go. We need to get out of there. Come on, then. Let's get back to the others. Yeah. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. Uh, you knew a fella? Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. Up there! More of them! Get out! Get the hell out of here! Get out! Help him down. You're alive! You're alive! Man, here we go. There we go. Uh, Ay, uh, careful, idiotas! Uh, it's his leg! Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. If you and Dutch talk about how we're gonna get out of this. I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not 
doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that's gonna be all for today, so thank you so much for watching this video, please don't forget to press like and subscribe button, press ring button, don't forget to share this video with your friends and write comments, and see you in the next episodes of our adventures in Red Dead Redemption 2, or maybe in SnowRunner, or maybe in any other game on my channel. Thank you so much and goodbye ladies and gentlemen, wish you have a great time.